Where did the trope of Europeans are so much more open-minded than the US come from? I haven't found that true at all. This might be a more political answer than you wanted. Progressivism requires legislation while conservatism can preserve the status quo simply by doing nothing. America has a massive federal government, getting anything meaningful passed is extremely difficult. A smaller country can get progressive legislation passed or repealed f we more easily. That's not to say a smaller country is likelier to be more progressive, just that a larger country that is conservative will stay that way. Anyway, the abolitionist movement started in Europe before the US became a country. Laws against interracial marriage never even existed in Europe except in Germany for a short while, inspired by America. I grew up going to America and I mean in English, so technically European and I've spent a lot of time traveling around Europe. My main takeaway is that Europe is going to vary a lot more because you cross a border and the entire method of communicating completely changes. This brings significant cultural differences. I 100 agree that Italy is the single most racist place I've ever been, however other countries much less so. I don't really think Europe as a whole can be compared to the US, because Yao would have such massive challenges and require so many languages to get a proper representation of the various nations, nationalities, cultures dating back 1000s years. It's just a whole different beast. Never heard that trope, and anyone who generalizes a continent probably doesn't know what they are talking about. The trope has its historical foundation during the Cold War era, when black writers and artists visited or lived in Europe and experienced much less or, according to some accounts, no racism. Of course, this has to be seen in the context of black Americans suffering under racial segregation at home, which didn't exist in European countries. I would guess that casual racism would appear as very liberal simply by comparison. And then there's the stuff about sex and alcohol, which is due to much of Europe not being Puritan, and therefore never going bonkers with moralist legislation. One aspect is that Europeans are far more tolerant of depictions of adult consensual sex and nudity. In the US, censors panic about sex and nudity, but tolerate horrifying violence in movies, TV shows. Europe mentions four cities. What? Europeans are more tolerant of sex and less tolerant of violence. America is the opposite. Speaking as a white passing South American living in Germany, I feel like people here are much more likely to judge people based on their country of origin and how well they are integrated. Brown person who behaves exactly like a German? Approved. Any skin color but with their motherland behaviors? Unacceptable. By the way I am not saying that this is okay. Plus, this is part of the population while others mainly non-far-right young people are way more acceptable. Their level of religious fanaticism is fat, below Americans. That's probably a big part of it. When it comes to respecting women in public, Romance language countries are notoriously sleazy and overbearing. When it comes to the Roma Akagypsies they definitely are far more racist. Because of the vocal minority which represents America, anywhere else looks tolerant by comparison. Europe isn't better, it's just different. The difference is that racism there takes different forms based on the unique history of each individual country. Country A might be super racist toward country B, and an American might look at them and say I don't understand, they are both whiter than me. European racism is often more about ethnicity than simply skin tone. But plenty of Europeans are also racist toward dark-skinned people just like white Americans. Do you not see the hypocrisy in your post? You're generalizing a continent of 44 countries about the fact they generalize. Practice what you preach and be the change you want to see. I don't think people mainly refer to racism when they say that. They mean things like religious fanatics and extremists not being as prevalent here as in the US. Or people tend to be more pacifistic rather than subscribe to a militaristic pro-gun, pro-violence attitude. People are more relaxed about nudity and sexuality and to a certain degree gender roles since they vary more from country to country than in America from state to state. Democracies are more plural than the American two-party system, so people tend to seek common ground and compromise more rather than being strictly divided along party lines. Racism is probably a bit better in the US than in most places in the world, due to people generally just being more sensitive about it. People just think the USA is especially racist because there are more opportunities for racists to show themselves. If your country is 95 or more the same race, you don't really get much of an opportunity to see most of its people interacting with people of other races. We would likely have to see Europe go through much of the same struggles as the US not exactly the same, due to America's unique history, but still if countries there started becoming 60 majority white. The USA will make a movie rated R because it shows a singular tit. I think that's where it comes from. It's cuss in the EU they have more open-minded ideas about some things. 
No one said they were less racist. You gotta imagine the entire EU pretty much fits into Texas. You're gonna have nuance. Europeans are just more kosher than we are with sex nudity drugs and for some reason crime. That's about it. The rest is as nuanced as going from one state to another. In the US good luck having sex in public anywhere public, in Germany it is legal in some places. If I recall there are a few parks where you can just fuck whenever in other parts of Europe as well. I've known a couple of chicks from the EU and compared to most American women I've known, not all mind you, they've been freaks when it comes to partying and sex. The trope come from white girls who go there and are treated well yikes that says a lot about your personality. Yes bro this entire thing is from pretty white girls. I can't say you sound very open-minded yourself either. Are you a person of color? A POC would notice the racism more easily than I would as a cracker, since I expect people in Dublin wouldn't be screaming racial slurs at me. And a woman would notice misogyny more easily than I would as a dude, so I might form a very different impression of Europe than a WOC. Dublin was 5050 really friendly or randomly hostile driving by in cars and screaming racial slurs. Really? In English. But the general feeling I got in Dublin was there's a lot of tourists, but the locals were all really friendly. Didn't see any hostility to anyone. Now I am white so it may be that it just didn't happen to me, but the Irish are well known for being a really easygoing friendly people, especially if you walk into a local pub or something.